A house worth $3 million was abandoned and forgotten since 1895, until somebody finally dared to enter. Exactly 278 years ago, in 1741, a beautiful house was built in London, Malplaquet House. The building was occupied for 150 years by rich families who could afford to live there. The capital of England however, became increasingly popular. It blossomed into a modern, bustling and powerful city that attracted many people. The last time the house was inhabited was in 1890, falling derelict since then. Because the house was uninhabited and untouched, stepping into it was like stepping into a time capsule. Time stood still there and it was exactly the same layout as it was in the 19th century. The historic building, nowadays described as one of the forgotten mansions, was designed by Thomas Andrews. The first owner of the house became a widow to a wealthy Jewish businessman. The Malplaquet house was surrounded by concrete walls and iron railings. The inside walls were covered with historic artifacts and made the house very special. But then World War II broke out and the house was heavily damaged in various air raids. The house was heavily damaged and it wouldn't be until the late 90s before museum director Tim Knox and landscape architect Todd Lins Tafgowan bought the estate, to house their enormous collection of art and antiques. For the most part, the Malplaquet house was restored to its former glory. The house was also decorated to its former style. Even the toilet was decorated historically and hung with paintings. Despite the damages inflicted during the Second World War, the hallway and the stairs were left undamaged. It has remained so since 1975 and was filled with hunting trophies from the same period. Every room had the same layout as before. Even the dining room. They have tried to make it look exactly as it did before it was damaged. The cellar was so large and impressive that there was enough space to turn it into a wine storage facility. After a long time, the property was put up for sale again in 2016. The English Daily Telegraph described the building as possibly the most beautiful and restored Georgian private house in the country.